I think everyone knows what time it is. It's time to see a bit of that naked battle that everyone's been excited in fairy tale. I know you're, like, don't lie. You guys know you're excited for this as much as I was. Although not also wanting to see it at the same time. It's weird. Well, that's what we people do when we enjoy fairy tale. I can't believe I just said those things. So going straight into this episode of Fairy Tale, we actually saw, I guess, the naked battle as such as like Lucy was in there and she was just getting treated like absolute shit when it came to going against Brandish and all that. She was like, oh yeah, where are these cat is? Yeah, by the way, rub my back like that. It's like you tell her. It's but I'm glad enough that they wasn't actually fighting, like, throughout that entire thing, because we were just getting information throughout that entire thing. And one thing that was very shocking, which I wasn't expecting from, at all, was from Brandish or always, like, she was talking about, oh, I've seen you before and all that, that's why I wanted to meet you. And it was like, oh, you know, was it when I did, I did weekly Metal Ice Sorcerer? No. Grand Magic Games? No. And then she start, then she said those magical little words, oh, me going like, wait, she knows, like, Lucy's mother or something, and it's like, what is it? Immediately what I first uh, thought was like, okay, maybe that's someone, like, she knew in the past, like, because remember, she did have, like, a sort of, like, a disciple, she did have, like, that one motherfucker that took over the Capricorn, I believe his name was, like, Zoldio or something, and he, she, maybe she was originally one of her, like, students as well, or maybe she was someone that she taught, I mean... That, to be fair, though, like, we never really know, like, for all we know, she could be as old as, like, like, Layla and, like, could, would have been, like, close friends all together, like, all these past years or stuff, and we haven't seen, like, she doesn't use, like, celestial magic, although it does work under the same grounds, I believe, since it, they're both, like, uh, space magic, so I feel like that would be a very clever thing to, like, Hero to do, actually, if it's, like, yeah, she's either, like, she was the old friend of Layla, or she was, like, something completely different, like, that would have been really cool, like, uh, she was, like, the student and she got jealous as well, like, that would be really cool, like, she was the prodigy out of all of them because we let's be honest, Sonia was a fucking piece of shit and he was the one that took like away from her like you know Capricorn and obviously as you know Lucy kept uh, like like Aquarius and you know had cancer as well it's like I know that might be interesting that like, she was the one that never took her or she was the one that was actually supposed to raid it like kind of more take care of Lucy and be the guardian or something that would have been something interesting so if that's the case, though, because straight after getting out there, we see, like, Kana's there to back her up, and she transforms, and we finally get to see the Ares form. I'm not gonna lie, my first look when I saw the Ares form was, oh my god, that is so adorable, I just want to cuddle and just hold Lucy, because she's probably, like, fluffy as hell. And then even as well, when we got to see, like, no, I like just how pretty much Natsu and Gaji are just off those motherfuckers off screen. And you know, especially from how, like, the fairy tale anime has been doing and all that, they want to be keep doing in canon filler or add stuff later on on that. That probably made the hero want to do. You know that there's going to be an actual fight between those guys in the anime. So I guess the people that felt, oh, that's a bit underwhelming in the manga and all that, you got to remember he's pressed the time. And in, in the anime, they can kind of do what they want or even still they actually might want more material i feel you know in the anime we're probably going to see a fight for that because you know there's we, we are catching up to the manga we're probably going to have the filler arc and it's like before we get into this stuff anime so i suggest that you know we won't see this for about a year in the anime but it's like that kind of makes sense you know you want to take down these like these cross fucks that were like belong to like argeal that's completely fine and then even seeing that others are bringing out the wind god armor even to go against argeal in the first place and actually managed to do some damage to him like he actually like sliced him up like obviously i that in him down at all, <laughs> like, I don't think that, otherwise, we, you know, we just see some shit, it's like, oh my god, you know, we lost and shit like that, I think now this is going to trigger Argyle to get a lot more pissed off, and it was like, they were even saying, it's like, you guys are having this much difficulty, get the fuck out of here, like, are you serious, like, come on, like, I'm fucking way better than this, like, it's like, and besides, you got the rest of the team to take on, so it's very curious to see, you know, how exactly uh, that's going to go. Obviously, Natsu and like Gargio, they can still keep going all that. They haven't been using hardly any of their power at all going against these guys. You know, we've also got, you know, like, Earth is still fighting Argy, so I, I imagine she's pretty much going to be done sort of fight. Like, I'm really curious what the fuck is going to be with this Brandish fight now. Like, I'm more curious than ever to find out more about Brandish. Because I thought she was one of the more interesting people from about what we saw from Alatharest. But now I really am curious of, like, what exactly is her, her relation with Layla. Because we haven't really heard anything about Lucy's mom. We know that she was, like, like you know, a powerful summoner like that. Celestial Magic. And it's like, 
kind of curious, like, is this, like, one of her old disciples and all that, like Zodia was, you know, and, she, like, maybe she had a key and then she just gave it away and said, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to trust him with shit, because I believe, like, Lucy, like, at the start when she, like, you know, she had Aquarius and then I think she gave cancer away to someone, but she eventually got it back, I don't remember on the cancer part, uh, but it's like, yeah, like, I'm kind of very curious about that, I'm guessing, like, either, like, she was a disciple of Layla, or she was Layla's best friend, and maybe she wants revenge because, you know, she's the, she got ill because of the child, and it was like, yeah, fuck that, it's like, I got time for that bullshit, it's just like, I don't know, like, that's very interesting, because she just died young, and maybe that was something to do with Lucy, she felt, like, maybe that was the reason, it was like, I'm curious about this, so what exactly is going to happen, and yeah, let me know in the comments down below, or do you think, like, Layla did something fucked up to her in the past and, like, ruined her life or some shit like that, but yeah, overall, for what it was, like, I was really coming into this, like, chapter, like, okay, fairy tale, let's just see some boobs, and, you know, it kind of, like, did that, and it was like, I mean, fuck's sake, they were pretty much both naked throughout the, like, a good chunk of the chapter, and then she even came out of the fucking house naked and shit like that, and it's just like, yeah, okay, I can see, you know, for what I was expecting, it was a lot more interesting than what I was, I'm kind of glad and a little bit disappointed those guys got off, I mean, though, honestly, they, if we saw that, like, none of us were going to be like, yeah, those guys, like, of, like, Argyle supported, shit, I really want to see what they can do, like, come on, we knew that they were there, just to be fucking, like, just w waste some time for Natsu and Gargiel until, like, the heavy, heavy guns come out, so, hey, they're probably going to extend, uh, extend on that in, like, you know, in the anime and probably make that a little bit of the and filler stuff, so, you know, maybe we might actually see that stuff, you know, that might be pretty cool, but overall, I enjoyed what this, uh, like, chapter was, I give this a solid 7, I mean, not, uh, quite some interesting, like, uh, developments going around, and I'm, uh, I don't, and the development, I guess, with the pacing of the whole Argyl fight, I mean, I still don't want Argyl to go down because of Urza, I think, like, Urza should still have another backup to take on against Argyl, but, honestly, yeah, if that's the case, it's like, going against that, then, I'm not sure, but, I mean, I feel like we, like, it should be solid else, really, because, like, Urza got a fucking ass handed to her the first time. It's like, oh, my swords can't go through, and now it's like, oh, they can just magically go through and shit like that. It's like, nah, come on, like that. But overall, yeah, it was a decent chapter, and I'm really curious. So, but let me know in the comments section down below, what do you guys think? What what do you think is the relation between Layla and Brandish? You know, were they friends? Were they, like, old-time rivals? Like, what what is their relationship to them? Like, were they, you know, student? like, you know, students, like that, like, who knows, like, I'm very curious to see that, but it's like, uh, that's all for me, I want to thank you very much for watching, as always, and I will see you guys next time.